hello fam i'm back again so guys after the last video i posted on how to make my pate jollof rice yeah i was like i want to see all detailed video i want to see the step for step i want to see the spices you used here i am it was a promise and i'm here to give it to you so firstly guys i'm just going to um mix my fried pokey in the pepper sauce because it's the same pepper sauce i'm going to use for the jollof rice so next add in your tin tomato fry your tin tomato very well guys don't make the mistake of not frying your tin tomato before your fresh tomato so after frying the tin tomato you're going to add in the fresh tomato you want to use for this dish so i had added mine here and i'm just going to allow fry for some time next add in your onion um then stir get your salt you would want to add in your salt at this moment add in a bit of it to taste and you're good to go so guys people are always scared of adding salt to their jello fries but trust me if the salt is not okay to taste in your rice you won't get what you want from it so next you're going to add in your meat stock your water i add water to my food at a go i'm not the chef that will add water come back and add water no you add it once and you're done so how to know the quantity of water you're going to add is this just make sure it's above the rice level and you're good to go next you're going to add your bell leaf your curry your seasoning so guys take note from here i'm going to be showing you guys the spices i use on a regular firstly your kitchen glory add to taste don't miss any of the spices this is what you need for that your jollof rice flavoring put in more salt to taste because you know you've increased the quantity of water so you're going to need a bit of it so next you see this big mama you need it guys don't forget this one so next i'm going to be adding um for you for your chicken seasoning comfort to be precise don't make mistake you need this very well guys this is the main seasoning you need. Mevina. Mevina is a must. Like, you wouldn't want to go wrong with it. You see Jima? Okay. Make sure you get Jima. <laughs> dark soy sauce. I don't go wrong with dark soy sauce. Most chefs don't, but I do. Just a bit of it to taste. So, guys, this is my ginger and garlic mix. Most people fry it, but I don't fry it because I love the flavor it gives to my food. So I include it while I'm adding my seasoning. So here, you're just going to cover and allow to boil for some time. Then next, add in your rice. Sorry, guys. I don't parboil my rice. I'm just, I just wash it with warm water and I'm good to go. Sorry, I forgot to make a video of that. So next, you're just going to stir and cover after 20 minutes open your pot and here we are so what you're going to do now is you're going to properly stir the food guys take note of, this is the first time i'm stirring my rice since it started cooking don't open and keep stirring to avoid it burning early okay just stir now cover and you're good to go so i'm just going to stir everything properly so that the steam can help me prepare the food properly so as at now you would want to reduce your gas to the lowest you don't need too much heat you're just going to put in your butter i always go for simas butter simas butter is my favorite i like the fact that it doesn't have too much oil in it onion time you know i love onion you guys know you're not new to this channel you know i'm an onion lover so you're just going to cover and allow the steam to help you do the final part of cooking here our rice is ready so you're going to stir stir mix properly so the onion can go round and look at how our rice looks so yummy guys this very rice is one rub of rice it was made for a customer's get together party you guys needed to see the review that was given on this particular dish they were like wow this is so yummy he even said his friends were like oh who made this meal who made this meal <laughs> so guys you want to allow it cool off for some time before you dish so i'm just trying to show you guys how i dished it dished it into this um takeaway plates this was how we dished it for them and it was served with um what salad and turkey peppered turkey sauce yeah that was what it was served with so guys look at our rice tell me now is this rice not rising yes i garnished with um some green peas just to make it look more yummy you know you know the drill now <laughs> it's not a cake if it's not nuts cake it's not nuts cake thank you guys make sure you subscribe